All right, so somebody asked me to help them out with a blend shape expressions. So here is what will hopefully be a super quick tutorial about how to go about it. So let me get my big dumb face out the way here so we can focus on Unity. Go to the left hand column here and avatar description, blend shapes. All right, so we've got quite a few here and they're all super inconvenient and the fact that they all say blend shape doesn't allow you to immediately see which one you are looking at. So uh, you have to click on here and then uh, navigate over here to see which expression you're looking at. Let's say you want to make a truly custom expression. You can click on any of these in the uh, this right hand menu over here underneath blend shape where it says default copy. Click on that and you're going to see a whole bunch of sliders. Now, here, the all are all the main expressions. They're all the presets, and they're great. They're wonderful. There's nothing wrong with them. But sometimes you want to do something a little bit more advanced. If all you want to do is lower the eyebrows, you can do brow angry, and vice versa with brow fun. So let's actually do something a little bit more custom here. And you'll notice that cranking it all the way to, to 100 will actually put the eyebrows below the start of the eyebrow. So a lot of the times these expressions, if you want them to actually look good, you don't want to go all the way to 100. You might want to go to 60. And then the eye, they, there's different eye shapes that are actually a lot of fun to play with. There's really no rhyme or reason to it, but just experiment with these. I'm going to give him a sort of half-eyed open. Let's make a really weird expression. And then iris hide is a lot of fun because it completely hides your iris. It gives you that whited out look. And then, so you really just play around which, with whatever you want. Once you have that these sliders set, you are actually done. So all you really have to do to change any of these expressions is click on blend shapes, click on the shape you want, default copy to open up the menu, and just mess around with the sliders until you get something you like. If you want to create a brand new blend shape and not mess with another one, you're not gonna be able to do it any other way than actually clicking on the actual blend shape asset itself. If you click on any of these, you're not gonna have the right menu, but if you click on this one, the blend shape dot asset, you're gonna get this menu the select blend shape clip. So you're gonna to wanna to click on create blend shape clip, name it whatever you want, save. And now, just like we did before, open this up, move around the sliders to make a custom expression, play with them a little bit, see what works and what doesn't, what's fun and what's not. So making a custom expression with the sliders, that's all well and good. But what if you want to do something more interesting? What if you want to do something more than just winking? Let's say you want to do a moving object. So for this one, if you take a look here, the shades are cranked up to 100. This is an actual moving object that I created, but you cannot do this in Unity. It is impossible to do this in Unity. If you want to have a object that you've already uh, made a uh, part of your model, and you want it to move, well, let me show you how to do that. It's actually a lot of fun. All right. So here's my model. If you take a look at the model here, you can see that the shades here are not part of the face, right? They are a separate object. And as you can see, if you scroll down to the shape keys, there's no shades shape key. So number one, click on the face, click on the object and control J. And this is going to fuse these two objects together. Now, one thing you'll want to know is that sometimes when you do this, the materials will go blank. You may typically view your model in, in rendered mode, but VC Face and Luppet actually use material preview. So if you see this texture vanish when you're in a uh, render mode, don't worry, go to material preview and it's likely the, the mesh is still there. If uh, one of the meshes disappears, you might have to go into edit mode and reapply your textures manually, but typically you don't have. But so now that we've got these uh, shades part of the face mesh, they are now subject to 
all of these shape keys. How fun. So you click the little plus icon over here to make a new shape key. Crank that bad boy all the way up to one. Pretty easy. And let's say all you want to do is lower it. You hit G on the keyboard, Z on the keyboard, and just move that bad boy. I took a few vertices that I didn't intend, but that's not super important. But as you can see, you can tab out in and out of edit mode. So once you've moved that down, you can see that it's at one and the glasses are down. Just scooch that back up to zero, which is its default. And look at that. The glasses are up, down, up, down. So you can add as many objects as you want to the face, like even this earring. So grab the face. Grab this earring, control join, add a new modifier, tab to go into edit mode, select this mesh here. And while this is at 100, make sure that 100 before you edit, and then you can just move it around. Zoop, zoop, zoop. And there's a lot of animations that you can do that are a lot of fun in Blender. And all of these shape keys will appear as shape keys in unity however they do not appear as blend shapes so now that you know how to create your own shape keys now we got to go back over to unity click on this one the blend shape dot asset click on create blend shape clip name it whatever you want save once you import this into uh, vc face you'll be able to bind this to any key that you want. So let's say you've already gone through the effort of making a custom blend shape. So now we're going over to VC face. All of the blend shapes that you add are going to show up in settings, expression settings, and then scroll all the way down to the bottoms. The one that you personally made will be at the very bottom. So uh, you can ignore that message. So I added the shades, right? You saw how I added the shades. It'll say hotkey, click on it, bind it to a hotkey, and that's all there is to it. So yeah, it can be really intimidating at first, but once you get used to it, it's not so bad. Once you do it once or twice and you get all the uh, kinks worked out, once you've added your first blend shape, it's honestly super, super easy to do. And that's about it. So I hope you found this entertaining and uh, valuable information. I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.